Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bamboo Batu. <clears throat> Today, we're talking about cold hardy bamboo. There is a lot of interest in growing bamboo anywhere and everywhere, but uh, a lot of people want to grow bamboo in the cold, in cold climates, the not so tropical places, and they want to know what species of bamboo are best. And indeed, as you see in the picture here, bamboo does grow in the snow, and some bamboo varieties grow very well in the snow. And we're going to try to cover all that today in the next 10 to 12 minutes. So lots of bamboo, maybe most bamboo is tropical or subtropical. This is kind of what we think of more, more commonly when we think about bamboo, uh, these tropical settings of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Bali, where the bamboo is growing uh, alongside the palm trees and such. And, uh, that is definitely a common common trait for bamboo. Um, it does grow well in the tropics. This I believe is bambusa, bambusa vulgaris. It's a subtropical species. So it's only going to be cold hardy to about 25 ish degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets much below freezing for any prolonged amount of time, it's going to get damaged. It's not going to be happy. It's not going to thrive, but there are many varieties of bamboo, which will thrive in the cold uh, hot summers and, and cold winters, and they can handle the snow and the frost and even pretty deep freezes down to uh, negative, negative Fahrenheit, negative 10 or 15, or sometimes even minus 20. And so let's take a look. Um, first of all, there's, uh, we like to break bamboo into two classes, running bamboo and clumping bamboo. So the runners, are generally temperate bamboo. That means they are more cold hardy. They can handle the, the temperate cool climates. So your running bamboos include the genus Phyllostachys. Most commonly, that's one of the biggest genera of bamboo. Um, lots of ornamental species of Phyllostachys, and they are very cold hardy. And so we're going to talk about those, but there's some other running bamboo, uh, groups that are very cold hardy, uh, Arundinaria. There's three species of Arundinaria, which are native to the United States, which is pretty interesting. They're not the best ornamental varieties to grow, but if you're interested in growing a native American bamboo species in an American garden, especially if you're in the southeastern part of the country, uh, they can be pretty interesting and super cold hardy. Uh, Chimono bambusa is another genus that includes square bamboo and walking stick bamboo, pretty cold hardy down to maybe zero Fahrenheit, minus five, 10 ish, somewhere in there. Uh, you know, there's other factors to consider, but, um, when we, when we give these cold hardy temperature numbers, it's not just an even like 10 degrees above 10, it's fine below 10, it dies, you know, there's a. It's a, uh, it's kind of a gray area at some point, but, uh, that's at the rough idea. So Chimono Bambusa, what else do we have? There's, um, Pseudosasa is uh, a genus it includes Aero Bamboo, um, Pseudosasa Japanica. Uh, it's a real nice ornamental. It's pretty cold, hardy, medium sized bamboo. Um, Semi Rundinaria is another good one. That includes uh, temple bamboo, pretty cold hardy, uh, down to maybe f minus five, ten ish, somewhere in there. Um, going in the alphabetical order here, in case you didn't notice, I like to do it that way. Um, those are some of the interesting runners. Also in the dwarf, dwarf bamboo category, there's some running bamboo uh, genus Pliobastus, Pliobastus. Um, includes many different species of dwarf bamboo. Some of them just uh, a foot or two tall. Some of them get more like five or 10 feet tall, but generally pretty small and pretty cold hardy, very aggressive spreaders. And then there's some Japanese varieties, a genus Sasa and Sasella. They're real small, like ground cover, very cold hardy and worth checking out. So running bamboo looks like this. Um, it spreads out into a forest and it can look really cool. And this is most likely a Phyllostachys grove could be Moso could be Japanese timber bamboo, 
pretty hard to tell from this picture, but it's definitely running bamboo and almost certainly phyllostachys. Uh, up close, um, you can see this is phyllostachys by the uh, structure of the branches coming off of the node there. Also the sulcus groove, that little indentation that runs up along the length of the comb right above where the branches come out. So that's a phyllostachys species. I couldn't tell you for sure which species, but it's phyllostachys. And in general, phyllostachys are real cold hardy down to, usually down to around minus 10 Fahrenheit. Um, so they're a good choice. They grow, they grow real well. They're popular ornamentals because of their, their hardiness and their general tenacity. Uh, here's another phyllostachy species. Just loving it in the snow. It looks beautiful in the snow. A uh, great thing about bamboo is it's evergreen. Uh, in the majority of cases, bamboo does not lose its leaves in the winter. So if you're mixing it with some other plants in your garden and a lot of things are going to lose their leaves, but if you have your conifers like pine trees and needle trees and your bamboo, they're going to stay green. Even while your deciduous trees, you know, your oaks and maples are going to lose their leaves. So it's nice to keep that green, uh, in the garden through the winter and bamboo is really good for that. Uh, the leaves stay nice, bright green. Usually bamboo loses its leaves in the springtime, which is kind of the opposite of what people expect. And sometimes that confuses people. They think their bamboo's got a problem because it's dropping leaves in the spring, but that's just because it's producing new leaves. And as the new leaves come in in the spring, the old ones shed, um, but they really kind of shed perennially throughout the year. So, um, but they don't all drop at once. You don't end up with bare trees like, like other trees in the winter. So that's a nice, nice thing about growing bamboo in cold climates is it keeps that, that color in the garden. So the genus Sasa, uh, includes many varieties of dwarf bamboo. It's a running bamboo, it's super cold hardy. It's native to Japan primarily and Eastern China. Uh, there's a about a dozen or so, a couple dozen, maybe species of, of Sasa. And here's one that's got those, those broader leaves. They tend to be pretty short and bushy. They make good, like short hedges or, or ground cover. Uh, this is Sasa Vecchi. Um, it's evergreen, but you can see it, it gets those, um, a little bit of leaf burn there around the edges in the frost, uh, in the winter. And actually adds like a pretty cool effect. It gives that striped effect. Um, but that's generally just from the, from the winter cold that does that. Um, sometimes it doesn't look so attractive when your leaves get frost burn, but in this case, it produces a pretty interesting effect that, that looks nice. And then in the, at the end of winter, you can cut that back and make room for new leaves to grow in or just let the, let the bamboo uh, run its course naturally either way. Uh, this is a genus Sasella. It's, uh, closely related to Sasa, uh, also primarily Japanese origin. This photo I took in Germany, actually in Berlin, Berlin, Germany gets very cold in the winter. If you've ever spent any time in Germany, it can get pretty chilly. And this is growing outdoors in the botanical garden in Berlin and nice shrubby little ground cover bamboo. Nice slender leaves. Uh, Sasea romosa, this variety is kind of unusual species of bamboo, but one of many cold hardy bamboos. So yeah, there's, there's tall, big, tall bamboos that grow well in the cold. There's short bushy bamboos and grow well in the cold. Lots of, lots of good choices, uh, especially in the running bamboo category. Um, then we have the clumping bamboo. This is not bamboo in the photo, just so you know, but it is a good, uh, demonstration of what clumps <laughs> look like, um, clumping little, little clumps of, of some type of grass. Anyway, I thought it was a cool photo. So there it is. Uh, the clumpers are generally tropical or subtropical. And so they don't grow so well in the cold as a general rule, but like many things in nature, there are exceptions to that rule. And the biggest exception is the genus Fargasia. This is another photo I took in Germany, in Northern Germany, close to the Baltic, up uh, north of Hamburg, in the town of Lübeck. Charming little, little town. Um, Fargasia morelia, 
uh, sometimes known as umbrella bamboo. It's got those cascading branches. Um, it's evergreen in the winter. This picture was taken in the summer. I think it was in August. So the, the garden is, is flourishing. Um, everything in the garden is nice and vibrant because it's summer, but in the winter time, things are going to die back in this garden for sure, because it's in Germany, but the bamboo is going to stay green and it's going to be super happy. The Fargasia is actually possibly the most cold hardy genus of any bamboo, even more cold hardy than, than the Phyllostachys and the running bamboos. Uh, they're generally considered hardy down to about minus 20 Fahrenheit. So, um, yeah, they can handle some pretty deep freezes, some cold, cold winter nights. They can be buried in the snow. Um, something to think about if your bamboo plant does get buried in the snow for long periods of time, it's good to have a nice thick layer of mulch around your bamboo. It's something to do at the end of fall, maybe before winter sets in, get a nice thick layer of mulch. So if the snow is going to pile up, you've got a good insulation between the, the snow and the roots of the bamboo. Because uh, if the roots freeze, that's where the that's where the life of your bamboo is. So whatever species you have, if you're trying to protect it in the winter, uh, a good thick layer of mulch is the best way to go. Um, Fargasia rufa is another species of Fargasia. Again, it's got a similar um, similar, similar characteristics. It's a clumper, and it's got those delicate cascading leaves. Um, they're really really pretty, really attractive and super cold hardy. So they're really popular in, in Germany and in, in Europe. This picture, I think is either France or Germany. Um, and yeah, people like to do the clumping bamboo cause it's not going to take over. It's not going to spread all over the, the guard, the garden, the way that uh, a running bamboo does. And so it's, it's nice when you can find a species that's both cold hardy and clumping. So, you know, it's going to be good through the winter, but it's not going to take over and spread out of control. So Fargasia is, uh, there's about a dozen or so species of Fargasia. Uh, they make really nice ornamentals and something to look for if you're in a cold climate and you're concerned about running bamboo. One other genus of clumping bamboo that's pretty cold hardy, Himalaya calamus. It includes um, several species of ornamental bamboo. It's native to the Himalayas, like the foothills in the Himalayas. So it's used to cold winters. It's a mount mountainous bamboo. Um, it's not so happy in the, in the hot summers. So they like generally cooler climates uh, or a shady spot in the garden, maybe and keep it out of the full hot direct sun of the summer. But um, some of these varieties, really pretty, really nice, exotic blues and purples on the colms. Um, you can see that in the photo there. Uh, this one's also known as Himalaya blue. And there's some other species of Himalaya columnists. I think there's a Nepali blue, or Nepalese blue. Um, yeah, really pretty, pretty cold hardy, down to maybe minus 10 Fahrenheit, I believe. And it's an interesting, interesting group of bamboos, the mountain bamboos. They're, they're clumping, but they're pretty cold hardy at the same time. And that's a pretty good overview of your cold hardy bamboo. Um, the easiest way to go, like I said, phyllostachys, tons of varieties of phyllostachys, all different sizes, definitely cold hardy. Um, and then some other running bamboos. If it's running, it's probably cold hardy. Um, but Phyllostachys is one of the most cold hardy that again, if you want to avoid the running bamboo, check out Fargasia, lots of species to choose from. You probably have to go to a specialty nursery to find those. They're not, uh, not your everyday bamboo varieties, but, but really great. And then the Himalaya column is really cool, ornamental, unusual, exotic varieties. And again, you have to check uh, a specialty bamboo nursery to find that probably, but, uh, lots of good choices. Um, Bamboo does grow well in the cold. Just uh, find the right species and uh, yeah, do a little mulch. And if it gets super cold and you have your bamboo in a pot, you can always bring it indoors and protect it that way. Um, maybe keep it inside for a month or so uh, to protect it from the hardest, the hardest freeze. Although for the best results, it's better to have the bamboo in the ground than in the pot. That generally 
insulates the roots a little bit better. But having it in a container does give you the option to, to move it in case of extreme temperatures. So a few things to consider if you're going bamboo in the cold weather, the cold climates. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it super useful, super educational and interesting. If so, let us know in the comments. Click the little like button. Subscribe if you feel like it. Make Bamboo Bata your new favorite. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.